Hi friends, how are you guys today? I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. And if you're not having an amazing day, I hope your day gets better from here on out. My name is Shanda and welcome to my channel. Um, I first want to apologize for um, me being in my pajamas and um, we were literally just relaxing a little bit, watching Glow Up on Netflix again and my daughter did my makeup. Um, and then I read these articles and I had to immediately hop on here and I wanted to share this with you guys immediately So I was like no time to get ready get dressed whatever we got to get this out to you guys as soon as I can But um, it looks like Jamie Spears Britney's father has spoken out about Britney's testimony last week as well as Jody Montgomery has um, said something too So let's go ahead and get right into that Okay, you guys, so I first want to read you this article here, and this one is entitled, I'm not the one who makes Britney's life miserable. So her dad is trying to shift blame off of himself already, and let's see what they um, he had to say. Jamie Spears has fired back at his daughter's allegations. He has taken away her freedom and even her right to marry. He says that all that falls on his successor. Jamie filed legal documents claiming he has not had any involvement in Britney's personal conservatorship, meaning making personal decisions on behalf of Britney for nearly two years. Furthermore, he says he hasn't even spoken to his daughter in a long time because he has been cut off from communicating with her. Oh, well, poor you. Jamie lays any blame for the restrictive rules on the current personal conservator, Jody Montgomery. He says when Britney's lawyer filed documents to appoint Montgomery, he claimed at the time Britney did not have the mental capacity to make decisions about her medical treatment, and therefore it was left to the conservator of her person, now Jody Montgomery. Jamie says bluntly, the court never found she was unable to consent to medical treatment, and the court never made such an order. The upshot. Jamie claims it was Britney's own lawyer, Sam Ingham, who has been seeking to take away his client's rights to make medical decisions on her behalf and vest those decisions solely in Montgomery's hands. Personally, I wouldn't be surprised if Sam Ingham was working against Britney, but her father just trying to shift blame and act like he didn't do anything wrong is, is completely ridiculous. Let's keep going. According to the legal documents, Miss Montgomery has been fully in charge of Miss Spears' day-to-day -day personal care and medical treatment, and Miss Montgomery has made all decisions related to those matters. Furthermore, Jamie says if Brittany has been restricted from marrying or having a baby, it's on Jody, not him. In fact, Jamie says he consented to Brittany's marriage when she got engaged to Jason Trawick in 2011. But as you know, they broke up in 2013 before tying the knot. Now, I did mention this in my last video, uh, not the one about Jamie, but Brittany's testimony. Um, I mentioned uh, about Jason. And a lot of people don't know about Jason. Uh, there's a lot of speculation about him. A lot of people think he was actually hired by uh, Jamie to play Britney's boyfriend. And um, he was actually like her babysitter. And he did end up becoming her co-conservator. But when they got engaged, Britney knew, even back then, that she was not allowed to marry or have a baby under this conservatorship. And she wanted to get married and have another baby. So back, even way back then, she was talking about this and she was like, well, I want to get married and have a baby, so I want this conservatorship to end. And when she said that, after like she started talking about that, her dad went and purchased pictures of Jason cheating on her. Now, Jason claims that it was during a time that they were broken up, but I mean, who knows? Nonetheless, he purchased these pictures and showed Britney. He claims that he uh, purchased them and whatever and showed her so that she wouldn't be embarrassed if the tabloids got a hold of them. 
But shortly after that, after he purchased the pictures and supposedly was the only one that had them, I don't know, the tabloids got them anyway. I wonder how that happened. But he, so the point is, he pretty much, he broke them up on purpose because she knew she couldn't get married or have a baby under the conservatorship, so she wanted to end it. So he broke them up. But let's go ahead and keep going. In another document, Jamie's lawyer says, Mr. Spears believes it is important for the integrity of the conservatorship proceedings and in the best interest of Ms. Spears for the court to order an investigation into the issues and claims raised by Brittany. Jamie's lawyer goes on, either the allegations will be shown to be true, in which, in which case corrective action must be taken, or they will be shown to be false, in which case the conservatorship can continue to run its course. The lawyer says it's not acceptable for the conservators or the court to do nothing in response to Ms. Spears' testimony. Now, there's a few things that I want to talk about in this article. The first thing that I want to talk about is Jamie just completely trying to shift blame. It is, it is just pathetic and ridiculous. He's basically saying, if there's anything wrong at all, then it's Jody Montgomery's fault, not mine. If it wasn't me, it was the tree. Because she's been her conservator of her person for the last two years. Well, yes, Brittany mostly spoke on the last two years, but she was talking about the whole time and she spoke a lot about her father a lot more and she said Jody is starting to become like my father they're like the same so it's it, it doesn't matter if it's Jody or him or whatever like they're all doing it they're all in on, on this together and it is kind of funny to see whole team conservator start crumbling and trying to point blame and shift blame it on each other now because they were all in on this together and now they're crumbling and like, oh no, it was him, it was her, it's him, it's her. The truth is going to come out and everybody's going to see that it was all of you. Is it just me or does it rub you guys the wrong way that it says either the allegations will be shown to be true or to be false? Like, so they're literally sitting there saying that there is a possibility that Britney is lying. And I wonder if this is like a front because I wouldn't think that Jamie would want a court investigation into this conservatorship I really don't think that he would actually want that because they would probably go to jail especially if they track down all her money but anyways um, I also didn't like it how they said in which case uh, corrective action will be taken no if Especially if this is true. I mean, we know it's true, but when the court finds it to be true, corrective action will be taken. Uh, how about you end the freaking conservatorship? And then they say, and if it's false, then the conservatorship can just continue to run its course. Ugh. I don't know why that just irks me the wrong way. It, it'll just continue its course. Like, ugh. Let her out. Anyway, there is another article, and this one says, Personal conservator responds to dad's claims. She had no marriage or baby restrictions. Now here, um, Jody goes ahead and responds to Jamie's claims about it just being all her fault. And this says, Montgomery's responded to Jamie's finger pointing, claiming her primary goal since she took over as Britney's personal conservator in September 2019 has been to assist and encourage Brittany in her path to no longer needing a conservatorship of the person. According to Montgomery's lawyer, Brittany's desire to get married and have a baby has never been impacted by the conservatorship while Jody's been conservator of the person. Anne says she's always been there to honor Brittany's wishes and look out for her best interests. TMZ confirms that in a conservatorship like Brittany's, this is true. She has the right to marry and plan a family and a conservator cannot restrict her rights in these areas. 
I just want to say that them literally sitting here and saying that Brittany is allowed to get married and she's allowed to get pregnant and that's never been in the conservatorship, it's never been impacted, that is such bullshit. They are so full of shit. That is not true at all. Now, if you guys don't know about Amanda Bynes, she is also in a conservatorship. And she is also fighting to try and get out of her conservatorship. And her mother is just like Britney's father. Her mother's taking all of her money. And I actually wanted to do a whole video on that as well. Let me, get, let me know if you guys would be interested in that video also. But she also cannot get married and cannot have a baby under her conservatorship and there was actually a time where she was pregnant and she shared it with everybody she even shared a sonogram and she was so excited and she wanted this baby and all of a sudden there was no there was no baby like it it was just gone and nobody ever heard anything and I know what I'm thinking about that. I don't know about you guys, but I really hope that what I think happened didn't happen. But the point is, she also is not allowed to have kids. And them sitting here saying that that's not true, especially that part, really pisses me off. Because they are flat out lying right here. Jody's attorney says she's been nothing but a tireless advocate for Brittany and her well-being and has followed California's code of ethics as her conservator to the letter of the law. Now, I just want to say um, Jody Montgomery was put into place when Jamie, they keep saying, even the media keeps saying, had to step down for health reasons when his colon ruptured. No, he had to step down as sole conservatorship because he hurt... Britney's sons and him being the conservator of her person was like impacting her seeing her kids because um, her kids have a restraining order on his ass so he couldn't be around babysitting Britney when she was trying to see her children so that is why they had to appoint somebody else and Jody Montgomery does this for a living she literally traps people in conservatorships for a living. So I don't know like too much about her. She's actually the one person that I know the least about, but she seems like she really enjoys her job and I don't know. I don't know about her. As for Britney's finances, Jody's lawyer says that that is really Jamie's domain, not hers. She says Miss Montgomery has advocated on Britney's behalf for any expenditures that Britney has requested as well as for expenditures recommended by Britney's medical team. Not every requested expenditure has been approved. Jamie Spears, as conservator of the estate, has a duty to make decisions in the best interest of the estate and sometimes that has meant requested requested expenditures have been denied or limited. So, I mean, yes, uh, she is saying that Jamie is in charge of the money. He does all the money stuff, and that is true. But she's also sitting here trying to say that he has the right to make decisions about Britney's money in the best interest of the estate. So if Britney wants... Um, like a bunch of money to redo her kitchen or something, then Jamie's allowed to say no. Now I also want to get into this article here. Now this article says that the judge denies move to outs Jamie. Now this one says that Britney Spears' lawyer asked the judge in her conservatorship case to boot her father Jamie Spears as the conservator of her estate. But a judge just shot that down and says Jamie stays, at least for now. Britney's lawyer, Sam Ingham, actually asked the court to suspend Jamie from conservatorship duties back in November, at, and the judge denied that request as well. She's actually tried to get her dad off of her conservatorship a few times, and she's never wanted him as her conservator, even from the beginning. She's never wanted him involved in this. But for the judge to literally hear everything that she says and... All of this, like, 
as big a story as this is and she won't remove him still I cannot believe she denied that like why we're told Ingham wanted Jamie replaced by Bessemer Trust, which would have become the sole conservator of her estate, but the judge wasn't having it. Ingham, for whatever reason, just let things sit for months. He was supposed to file certain papers for Bessemer's new role to take effect. Finally, just recently, Ingham filed legal docs that Bessemer be made co-conservator. The judge just approved that but also said Jamie will stay as conservator himself. The judge also re reiterated that Ingham's request to suspend Jamie was denied. So hang on here, Judge Brenda Penny. You're telling me that you approved a co-conservator of the state and this, this, it's this Bessemer Trust who has experience and you heard Brittany's testimony and you still won't kick Jamie off? How much are you being paid? <laughs> I mean, I don't see any, anything else. I mean, what do you guys think? I, I, I can't. I can't. And the fact that she just denied to get Jamie off of this really scares me. It scares me that she is not going to free Brittany. It scares me. It's important to note the judge signed this order keeping Jamie in place after Brittany's testimony last week. As you know, Brittany wants Jamie out entirely, so it's pretty clear her lawyer will file another motion to remove Jamie. By the way, everyone has been assuming Bessemer has been acting as co-conservator of Brittany's estate for months, but it turns out that's not the case. Actually, Bessemer still isn't a co-conservator. Certain documents must be filed for this order to take effect. And I think it's funny that not only has Samuel Ingham not done a damn thing to even help Brittany at all in 13 years, but he's had these documents just sitting there for months to let this trust company be the co-conservator of her estate so her father doesn't have all the power. And he just didn't file it. There needs to be an investigation. I, I've said this before. But not only do we need to free Brittany, we need an investigation, and we need to look at her dad, we need to look at Samuel Ingham, we need to look at Andrew Wallet, Lou M. Taylor, we need to look at Reva Goats, Judge Penny, everybody, Lou, Larry Rudolph, like, they all need to be looked at and investigated, and they need to investigate where all of her monies went, and everything they've done to her, and just, they need to be prosecuted. It is, it's ridiculous, and I cannot believe after her testimony, that judge left her father as her conservator. Ugh. I swear, if this judge does not free Britney, some kind of like politicians or something needs to step in because this cannot be. Like, there's got to be an end to this. We've got to keep the pressure on, guys. We've got to keep fighting for Britney. Alright guys, that is all I have for you today. If you could give this video a thumbs up, I would really, really appreciate it. It would help so much. And if you guys could also possibly leave a comment down below, it will help push this video through the YouTube algorithm. And of course, I love hearing all your guys' thoughts and opinions about everything that we talk about on this channel. I love and respect everything that you guys have to say. But it will help push this video through the YouTube algorithm and that will help more people to see this video. It'll help get the word out there, keep people informed about what is going on, and therefore it will help free Britney. So um, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You guys know you want to. I would love to have you guys in the family. I put out new videos a couple times a week. I'm trying to do it every other day, but um, at least a few videos a week. And until next time, you guys, in a world where you can be anything, please be kind to each other. Bye, guys.